Good morning, everybody. It is another cold, chilly, snowy, cloudy day in Michigan. <laughs> Today we are at the shop. I'm joined with my little buddy here. This is Pickles if you haven't met him yet. We are going to install some seats today. I'm just letting the pickle do his business and then we are heading inside and we're gonna throw some new seats in the Subaru. I'm very excited, let's go. Here are the seats. They are NRG Prisma Ultra bucket seats. I opted for the black Alcantara and then the back. You guys! It is so flaky. I love it. And they are gonna be way comfier than my old gross stock seats with the seats i got seat brackets which are a specific fit to your car so make sure if you're installing these universal seats in your car you get your vehicle specific bracket and then i also got these um slider kits uh these are universal these sliders come with a bag of bolts and then the seats came with a bag of bolts i was doing some research on the internet on how to install these bad boys because one, there's no instructions, and two, there's not really a great informative video on how to install um, these sliders and seats and seat brackets. I'm gonna figure out what I'm doing on the first one and see how that goes, and then for the second one, I will uh, jump back in and kind of explain to you guys what I'm doing, just to make sure I have it down first, and then I can show you guys. So with that being said, let's get into it. up my camera okay it is a little while later and the first seat is all assembled I have not bolted it into the car yet but everything lines up exactly how it should and the slider works I am very 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 pleased the only thing that I am missing is a um, nut for my seatbelt. There's a built-in mounting bracket for your stock seatbelt in these seat brackets right here. So I have um, my seatbelt for my stock seat and then I'll plug this back in down under there. I have the bolt for the seatbelt but not a nut so I will run to the hardware store and grab two nuts. Um, 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 so I might run to the hardware store now so that um, when I come back, I can assemble the other seat and then bolt both of them back in. I'll be right back, okay? Promise. I brought my passenger seatbelt for reference. The first seat is officially all assembled, seatbelt and all. So like I said, it just mounts to this little bracket here and then I have a locking nut on the other side. So now that this seat is all complete, I'm gonna get started on this passenger seat and I'm gonna walk you guys through this one since I know what I'm doing now. Here is the passenger seat. 
and then you have to buy these separately and you also have to buy the uh, bracket separately. You have the bar that you pull on to slide and then you have the sliders. So what we're gonna do first is take these sliders and mount them to the seats themselves. Some tips for installing these. So there's a flat side to these and then there's a side with the rail on them. Make sure the flat side is on the seat and then the rail is bolting to the bracket. So it'll be like this on this side and then this on this side. And then you're also going to want to make sure that these cables here are facing uh, the front of the seat towards the front of the car. So up close you can see that there's just cable here, this silver pushing mechanism here on each side. So you want the cables closest to the front of the seat. When you push down on this silver tab here, that's how you can slide the inside of the rail in and out. And that is how you reach um, both of the holes that you need to bolt to the seat. I'm gonna start with this bottom hole here and uh, feed a nut through it like so. And then on the back side, we're gonna do a washer, a locking washer, and then a locking nut in that order. And I'm going to hand tighten this Allen tool and a 13 mil wrench. happen sometimes so I loosely secure this first bolt and then I'm going to push down on this silver mechanism and slide the slider down and then I'm going to bolt my second bolt in this um, top hole up here that lines up with my seat same thing up top loosely secure it to be a little more efficient now but I'm still not going to tighten it down all the way. Okay, now it is loosely in place. I can still move both ends around. I'm going to do the same to the other side real quick. Okay, and the reason I'm keeping um, all of these relatively loose is so that I can make sure that these things are parallel to each other because if these rails aren't parallel when you mount them, when you go to slide the seat, it won't slide. You know what I mean? It'll get caught. I'm going to speed through the process of me tightening these bolts down and then I will catch up with you guys when we are ready to mount the bracket. Here's a little close up before we move on to the next step. So I have one, two, and then hold on. Three and four bolts in. <laughs> Why does he just wander up there sometimes? And he'll just stare at me from up there. Can I help you? Okay. Anywho, the lever that you pull to move forward or backwards. I'm gonna squeeze that in there real quick. What I did was line up one side like so, and then I squeeze this side in so it'll press fit in to there. So this is always a fun time. Watch me struggle as I do this. Okay, that actually, <laughs> That was not bad at all. The first side took me so much longer. When you push down on this lever, when you're inside the car, you'll be pulling up on it, but for right now, I'm pushing on it, and I can slide the rails. Now I'm going to install the lovely bracket. Slide these two rails down so that I have access to these holes right here, and that's where I'm gonna put the first two bolts. I'm going to place them through these two holes and then the same order as before. 
don't tighten them all the way down. And then we're going to slide the brackets up so that I have access to these tap bolts. Run it through the back. Washer, washer. You know the drill by now. Now everything is loosely lined up and it slides. We can tighten these down. Now we are going to attach the seatbelt. Well, first let's double check and make sure that this sliding mechanism works. Oh yeah. We're in business. Now to bolt the seatbelt back on to this bracket right here. I'm gonna thread the bolt that I got from my old seat out and a locking washer and then a nut that I just got from the hardware store and a 14 mil. This is what everything looks like on the bottom we got our seat belt mounted we are good to throw them in the car there are one two three four 14 mil bolts that you just pop right in so this should be relatively easy now would definitely be a great time to vacuum your carpets if you haven't done so already i did mine the other night unlike the passenger side i have a um, connector that i need to plug in on this driver's side so i will make sure that i do that they are officially Dude, they're so sick. Are you kidding me? I even get to do the most satisfying part now. Are we ready? Oh yes. I'm gonna record the other one for my IG story because that was satisfying AF. I brought my flashlight in here so we could admire the flake even more. Dude, that is really, really, really cool. I like it. vertex wheel in here so we could get the full feel for the new interior the new color scheme is coming together i mean so far it's just black also i wanted to note so the seatbelt still works um the positioning like down here is pretty tight and it's kind of an awkward squeeze to get the seatbelt in there so it can be done, it's just a little awkward and uncomfortable because of the spacing in there and then really technically you shouldn't be um, using your stock seatbelt if you're in a bucket seat because of that gap there because the seatbelt is going to hit the seat before your body when you launch forward if that makes any sense. I don't love that. I am actually planning on getting a harness bar and harnesses for this car. For those reasons being the buckle not being easy to access and 
the fact that you shouldn't really use your stock seatbelt anyway with bucket seats. It is still uh, winter in Michigan, so I'm not really driving this thing around anyway. That is the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed, please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below, as well as follow my Instagram. It is at ej.uwu. That is also linked down below. I am literally such a happy girl now that I got that done. I was kind of procrastinating a little bit maybe, but um, now that they're in, I am so pumped. You guys, I cannot wait for it to be warm again. I kid you not, my plan this weekend was to pull this thing out and do body work and sand it all outside. It's like 25 degrees today. It's freezing. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm literally just gonna have to wait until it gets a little bit warmer outside which kind of sucks because I'm impatient. But also part of my wrap is back ordered slash out of stock. So I'm waiting for that anyway. It's not like I can really wrap the car. So I think the new plan is to just wait um, until it is a little bit warm outside so I can pull the car out, sand it down, do some body work. Hopefully by then the other half of my wrap will be ordered so then I can actually wrap this thing and then it can be finally presentable because <laughs> this car has been sitting looking like this for way too long. I'm going to head home now and start editing this footage for you guys. See you guys in the next video. Bye.